If you're on the market for a new video projector, we got you covered. Whether you're looking for the budget option or the greatest one, we have an option for you. So let's get started. Offering a sharper image than many rival Pico projectors, LG Minibeam Ultra Short Throw LED Projector is great for busy rooms. You can put the projector extremely close to the wall or screen you want to show your video on, without any issues. So no need to worry about people and furniture blocking the view or casting shadows. You need just 38 centimeters to cast a 100-inch display. Move it 16 centimeters from the wall, and you get the equivalent of a 50-inch display. If you want something more dramatic, move back to 60 centimeters and you'll fill a wall. Other than the need for mains power, this projector also offers wireless operation, connecting to your laptop or smartphone via Bluetooth. And if you can't do that, you can also simply plug in a USB stick. The Epson EF12 portable projector is a box-shaped all-rounder. It is small enough to store on a shelf in a cupboard, easy to carry around and simple to set up. It offers itself as an all-in-one solution for your home projection needs, with a maximum 150-inch image. Handily there is a 2, 5-watt Yamaha speaker system built in, which means you get great audio indoors or out with your videos. There is Android on board too, so you can hook up to Prime Video, Disney+, Spotify, YouTube and other apps to ensure you always something to play without the need for other devices. There is also a generous 10 gigs of internal memory, so that you can preload your evenings viewing via USB. Pocket projectors were all the rage when flat screens cost more than the monthly shop. But while interest has dulled, they're still a good option for impromptu screen shows, especially the View Sonic N1 Plus. This ultra-portable LED projector can stand upright on its own carry handle and comes with a basic remote that still finds room for on-body controls. Connections include an HDMI output and USB, but there's no Bluetooth support. There's a micro SD card slot, 16 gigs of onboard storage, and 6 hours of usage from a single charge. The M1 Plus also has a fixed zoom and a throw distance of 40 inches to 1 meters. The upgraded M1 Plus offers a slightly brighter projection at 300 lumens over the N1, which is 250 lumens, though it's still far short of higher spec beamers, one for dark environments where possible. This model also adds wireless connectivity, so you don't need to reply on a thumb drive to get something playing. The BenQ TK850 is a great budget 4K projector to consider, with a pleasingly rounded design and simple interfacing that will make it at home in any living room. It's not a native 4K projector, despite the branding, it replicates 4K resolution by quadrupling a 1080p output. This won't be the best option for recreating true Ultra HD then, but it does have a 4K effect that should look more detailed than lower res models. This DLP model outputs at 3000 lumens, offering an exceptional brightness despite some resolution trickery and aiding an above-par color performance through BenQ's cinematic color processor. 1.3 times zoom means you can get a 100-inch projection from a little over 9 feet away, while a backlit remote means you can see what you're doing while watching in a darkened room. You'll get a basic OS in the standard model, though there is now a TK850i model that comes with the superior Android TV interface built in. Either way, you'll get a USB 3.0 port and USB media reader portal to easily browse and display your own files, and there are two HDMI inputs too. This low-cost UHD projector uses an expanded pixel resolution, 0.47-inch DMD chip to produce 4K images. It's a sharp performer with a strong color performance and low noise. There are two HDMI inputs, as well as PC VGA and USB. There's a fair amount of additional configuration on offer. Multiple gamma settings are available, and there's variable color gamut selection. A six-segment color wheel claims to cover 100% of the BT709 color space. Images are pin sharp and color accuracy is superb. Black level can be tweaked using the dynamic black setting. We preferred it off, however, some might like the denser blacks it produces. For the greatest contrast, keep the lamp setting on bright. Did this video help you find what you were looking for? If so, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Have a great day.